We're here with the cast and crew of Lust Potion Number Who Cares. This is the final episode in the series. I'll start off by saying uh, how I got the idea of, of Lust Potion Number Who Cares. Um, I always liked those Love Potion stories. I thought it fit in really well with the Hunters Anthology. Um, and I also kind of wanted to do a funny one. I, I kind of, I mean, some of the other ones are pretty scary or are supposed to be. So I, I, I really wanted to have some comic relief uh, before we get to who, to revealing who the demon is. And this is the, the episode in the finale. So I feel like having those breaks between the thriller sections of, of the story is, is important. And, you know, we sort of go back and forth with a little humor throughout, but this one is really meant to be funny. Uh, and, you know, a, a, a love potion is, you know, it's a serious topic and how kind of awful it is to do to somebody. I mean, it's really awful to to do that just because somebody likes a girl, they feel awkward going up to them. And I feel like the theme of this is really just how horrible a thing it is and really showing that. And that's why, as funny as this one is, it's one of the darkest. It's definitely one of the darkest. Nikki, uh, I wanted to talk about just just uh, getting this all together. This This episode is unique because this is the only episode where we actually shot it at two different times. We kind of decided to do it that way because we didn't have enough money to shoot both episodes at the same time. But we had cast Eric already, so we wanted to try to get that done uh, and then try to raise more money after that. It was important for us to try to get as much done as possible. Um, so we decided we'd shoot it in two halves. We'd shoot the potion shop and the fortune teller and then try to raise money to shoot the rest. In the potion shop, uh, we had a lot of trouble finding one. I, I remember, I, you know, in the script, it's just like, hey, there's walls of potions. And uh, I didn't really think about it at the time, but like, you can't just find a place that has walls of potions unless you pay for it. You have to kind of buy it. So uh, what, what, what did you come up with to, uh, for our location? I mean, at first, I was trying to find places like that. So I was thinking, ooh, maybe Kiel's in the East Village because all of their decor is like that. So I went to Kiel's and I spoke to them and they just wanted way too much money, which we didn't have. Uh, so we decided we'd look at other options. So I started looking at tea shops in um, Chinatown. I sent Rob a list of uh, places uh, for him to call. I, I do remember doing those cold calls and it was not easy. I just trying to ask these people who owned a tea shop uh, to, to just, can we shoot in there, you know, during work hours, which was a, was a big challenge and only one person bit. And, and it was the smallest shop you can find. It was the, the smallest shop one could find. And somehow we managed to get two cameras in there and our actors and a bit of lighting. I don't think we broke anything. So it was a good day for two days. What do we do? Like, four hours then four hours and then like two or three hours for the um, for the other episode yeah was it two days or one day we shot the push i think it was two two days yeah i think it was two yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. then i know that you had all sorts of, of challenges in that tight shop it had to be a low angle it had to be a high angle i mean we could almost touch the wall with our with each hand if you spread them we had to deal with the fact that the shop was still open but occasionally customers would come in. Uh, we One day we could not put any black curtains uh, along the windows. So there was natural daylight falling in, even though it was supposed to be nighttime and have no windows. And and later in the color correction, that caused a few little issues, but we, we worked around it. Getting two cameras at re good angles where we didn't see each other was a bit tricky, but we just went very minimal with the types of lighting instruments, you know, paper lantern and a little LED strip and, you know, very small just to accent. Uh, I didn't go in there thinking that I had to have big lights and take up a lot of space. So we made it work. Made yeah. it work. And just Eric and Yoko, do you remember like the camera being very close or just kind of feeling like you were, it was a little claustrophobic? I don't remember the camera being so close. I do remember the claustrophobic nature of in between takes, we had to wait outside in the street. There was that we were definitely space was at a premium. Hi. Ben, did you say when you went back there to visit, our potions were still in the background? Yes. Yes. I, I wonder if they're still there. The special uh, pro list. Probably. The, the store is only open a couple of days a week, but it does, it does open up on Saturdays and I think uh, one or two other days. But the the uh, the lust potion tea is sitting right there. That's so funny. 
the antique shop was also a huge challenge. We had a lot of trouble finding that because everybody thought we were going to break everything. There's, there's so many of those in New York, but yeah, people think, okay, you don't have enough insurance. And I was thinking, okay, what are we going to do? I don't know what we can do for this. We need something that's going to work. And I still thought, wait a second, my friend Jassy from boarding school, her father used to be a collector. And so their apartment is full of different types of antiques. So I sent her a text message. I'm like, Jassy, so I have a very strange question for you. Can we shoot in your apartment next week? And she wrote back saying, hmm, interesting. What do you want to do? So I told the whole story and she was like, yeah, sure. But let me clean up a bit. I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't clean anything. <laughs> we want it just the way it is. And so me, Ben and Rob went there that weekend so we could see it. Um, and it worked perfectly. So we went to Jassy's and we shot there. 